So this is a rental team that I found on Twitter. Sableye VGC, another streamer made it. They feature regular Kanto Raichu uh, in a really, really unique way using upper hand to side upper hand their own inner focus normal tarot dragon. It's gonna activate the weakness policy and they're not gonna flinch. And remember, upper hand has a higher priority than extreme speed. You can see you can still click extreme speed that turn and you're not gonna be able to worry about getting fake out on the Raichu because upper hand again has that higher priority. It's a really, really cool way to play Raichu with the fairy tarot on it to help us out versus like raging bolts. So I think this is actually a really, really cool tech. I, you know, I've featured this on my channel a bunch of times before and they have a very, very standard, uh, good selection of mons with it. Ogre Pond, Entei, Shimpao, Fluttermane, very, very solid up there a high level regionals player as well so really really like how they built this team so i, I want to play some games with it so uh let's go play some games with it i think ente is a good mon here but i think at the end of the day like ente is probably gonna get taken advantage of by something i don't like i might uh, i can't grass tear it either so it's like it's actually just like waiting to die to lando which means i don't think you bring it yep that's a that's a hard call to make it's a hard call to just be, because you kind of need Entei to break the Red Ice. You kind of need Entei to break the, uh, the Rillaboom. And just leaving it at home because it can't help for Slando is like a hard one. So yeah, let's see how this one goes. Lando, there's the Lando. We said it. All right. Entei would be good if you brought Ogre Pond. Uh, no, I, yeah, for them, yeah, like, it's, it's good into Ogre Pond. Sometimes. But I think I'm just gonna pop the Lando. I think, I'm, I'm more afraid of Lando than I probably should be. Fuck you. Go away, demon. If he Ghost Terra Landos me, I swear. No, he's not Terra. <laughs> I was just like, no, oh no, no. Right, here we go. Thank you. I appreciate the. Uh, I I really appreciate the intimidate, right? Because it makes my upper hand weaker. Such a good friend. I'm gonna laugh when they click fake out in my right you, by the way. Oh, I, I upper hand. I thought it said cut helping hand for like one second. I thought it said helping hand, and I was like, no, no, no. Look at this damage. Oh wow, I life four bridge ice. That's dicey. I don't like that. Damage. E speed these, please. Ooh. One hit KO. Show me fake out. Actually, fake out whatever happened. Oh, they brick break me. What the fuck? You good, bro? Are you good? Homie, are you alright? That's fucking dirty. He's, I like brick break there, because, like, Raichu could have just set a screen. Definitely could have set a screen. Raichu outspeeds Ninetales. I'm actually going to click Electro Web this turn and protect, and then next turn do the E Speed Helping Hand play. I know they're going to get a Aurora Veil or something off. It does. I can't. I'm going to let them do that. I'm also scouting for Ghost Terra because, like, I want to see it. You might have, like, Steel Terra. What do you got? You know? Okay, Terra over here. Double Dip Grass Poison. See, this is where that Earthquake would be really nice. Not even really. Stomp Chance would be fine, though. What you using over there, Nine Tails? Let's go protect the Mundo. Nice. Cool. Sash is potentially broken. Speed managed. But the problem is, like, yeah, there's a Roarville. I think it's totally okay to still do this. Um, the rest of our mon should be fine in the Nine Tails. Perfect again. No, I wanted my, I wanted my healing. I'm gonna go up to the Rilla, I think. I think the Rilla is a better target. Ninetales, it's hard, it's gonna be hard to break the Ninetales, but I think I have the right tools to do it. So. Whoo! Let's go. Big damage. So plus two. Full attack, E speed. There's a roar veil up, but like. Oh, damn. He's eating his Wheaties out here. Good play, good play. No freeze. Nice, that's totally fine. Yeah, because now we just bring in. Um, I don't want to bring in Flutter yet, right? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Because I don't want to get Grassy Gwid just yet, right? On that Flutter slot. I think his Shemp House is fine. 
Do you think they have Dazzling Gleam on that set and, or Moonblast? It's kind of hard to say, right? That's bad. Has to be this guy. Okay. I think you actually... I think you just pivot in the Flutter and reset Fake Out with Raichu. That's probably the best play. Because you can take out the Rilla here. Yeah, it really has to go down. I wonder if it's Reg Ice in the back. I prefer, I, I'm not going to use it, though. Not required. Like, Flutter just didn't have Shadow Ball. There's no, like, moves Flutter had that really broke the Rilla. I just need to wait out for... I need to wait out the Aurora Veil. Yeah. I think Blizzard's going to do... It's going to do some good damage, but not, like, an ungodly amount. Oh, do they actually clicked it? That's nuts. That's nuts, dude. Crazy. No more terrain, though. Go away. And then they're going to Blizzard. Still be harder than I like. I think they might still get me. Icy Wind. Okay, well, they're still a minus one. That's fine. Flutter's actually still pretty quick. I like that play, because that still would have dropped my speed, even if, like, I did upper hand at the Rilla. So, I actually really I like that play. There's the Reg Ice. Does Reg Ice set up, or is it just going to use Blizzard? It's two turns of snow. Let's see what happens here. Big damage there. They're just double Blizzard spamming. Thunderbolt, huh? Blizzard, okay. I think Flutter can eat this well enough. Who's better to go after, though? I'm gonna go after the Red Ice, but it's probably wrong. I just don't think we do enough damage to Ninetales. And they look like they don't happen to have, like, any sort of... Yeah, this is the best that I got, you know? It's gonna do, what, like, 30% unless I crit? Still the best play that I have. And then I get a fake out pin a little bit later, like a, fake, a helping hand sacred sword if I don't take out Shen Pao. Like, still my best shot. Cat is weak as fuck. Special attack drop is nice. That's a lot. So Flutter's still faster than, than them, though. Because they're at minus one as well. Okay. Yo, we're gaming out here. Three turns there, so protect. Hmm. I don't want to have to icy one with my flutter. I just want to be able to come in and hit stuff. Once I wait out the uh, Aurora Veil, I should be good. Yo, thank you for the thank you for the follow. You can double blind Blizzard me, but you might also Thunderbolt me here. Blizzard, okay. Let me get that Citrus proc, or you can just miss. Okay, Citrus proc. Oh, that's a lot still. All right, so Reggie's probably dead then. I thought that that would miss or do less damage. I really did. Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's why I figured. That's what I freaking thought, huh? Mmm, yeah. Two turns. As long as I don't lose both my monsters. Oh, you gotta fake out the red ice, I think. Raichu busted. Blizzard can miss. Yo, it can miss. That's work. That works. That works. No freeze. Let's go. 
Last turn, right? Yeah, buddy. There's no reason to let the flutter go down. Yeah. Doesn't matter if you don't kill the Reg Ice, I think. We can do that with Flutter next turn. Let's just stick free damage into the Ninetales. And if you if you do happen to... I think you're going to Life Orb tick out here by hitting the Raichu. Seven. So you're going to Life Orb tick out. Terra Blast. Go nuts, bro. Show me that Life Orb damage. Show me the Life Orb damage in your, in your Reg Ice. Show it to me. Yes! Raichu Gaming! Dude, look at us! Look at us! Roar, roar of it. We waited it out, bro. Alright, if they hit this blind blizzard, though, they're gonna get me. But, like, I can't do any more damage than, than what I have set up right here. Moonblast. Sacred Sword is the best that I have. If you double hit your blizzard, you win. If I don't KO you, which I don't think I will. But, uh... Oh, that's a lot of damage! Oh, this is gonna be a lot of damage, too! Yo, we're gaming! Oh, you like that? That was a... Dude, that was good! That was all good in the neighborhood, yo. Nice! Indeedy with Ape, so a little bit of Trick Room. Huh. Let me have Ice Spinner. I don't see a reason not to use that. Even if you Willy call me, like, I don't really care. <sighs> AV Ente seems really nice into this, but at the end, at the, at the same time, Final Gambit is problematic. I think we're going to want to bring Water Pond in the very back. I'm trying to think what I need to do here. Fluttermane is probably the right mon. I want to see the actual spread that they had on this Fluttermane set. 190 is fast enough. Not fast enough. Okay. I still think I'm gonna try it. I'd like to go right here. I just don't think they're gonna give us like shots to utilize that Pokemon correctly. Um, I do think Entei and Water Pond are gonna be very nice though. We're gonna try this. It's my first time going up into like hard TR Sunroom. Is there a replica for this team? Yeah, I just showed it. Um, I just showed it off. Um, if someone had the screenshot. I think it was like QWQ. I will type it. I, d I screenshotted it. Look at me. I took a picture of it. Okay, hold on. I'll give you guys a rental code. The rental code is. Look at me. Now it's cool. Don't worry about it. It's Q W so Q W Q J N C. Oh, dude, look at me. Look at professional streamer helping out the people. Okay, let's see what they got. So this is really nice. Um, I'm just gonna go ice spinner taunt, and they're gonna be like taunt. No way. And I'm like, I know, dude. I'm so good, right? Um, and I'm trying to think. Who do we ice spinner? It's actually a really important decision. I'm going to taunt the NDD. I know that. And I'm going to Ice Spinner the NDD. If you want to protect your NDD and bulk up, you can just be built different. But I know your final gambit. And I don't care about you uh, hitting my Shimpo. It's fine. Yeah, dude, taunt's kind of just nice here. I was really surprised I didn't bring the late. Dude, they are totally going to just not be final gambit ape, and I'm just going to be the biggest, saddest person ever. All right, I am faster than them. I could have Moonblasted, but that's not the point. All right, falling for the taunt. Shadow Claw, okay. Mission accomplished with this Flutter. I'd actually also rather just keep my Shem Pao, right? I'd rather just keep it, bro. Because now you're stuck in a Shadow Claw in this board state. Am I just playing ladder? I am just playing ladder, yep. Yep. Rocky Helmet, that sucks because I had a Sash, but it's okay. It's okay. Because now you can't TR. Both these are good here. I like Entei better, though. All right. We want to double up into the Annihilate here. Because, like, NDD, it can, what, it can use Dazzling Gleam. I don't really care. And we want that doubled in, too. How do I get a different icon? It's based off months, like, actually subscribed. So, zero to one, zero to three months is, uh, sorry, zero to two months is the egg. Then you catch it three for Caterpie, then you hatch it like six or seven for Metapod. It's like, goes off like every month is a level going up to Butterfree. Yeah. 
let's see what they want to do here. It's cool, yeah, I mean, I think it's one of the cool things about my channel. So, I would pivot Ape out if I was them, and in, which are any of these, that's also fine. Like, I have no problem with that. Hat, okay. The hat's still really good against our team. Shadow Claw, go nuts, like we know that they're scarfed. Oh, a crit really hurts into our vested entail. That hurts so bad. That is actual just garbage. So we're gonna go Snarl. That is so bad, dude. That sucks. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we know that like this KOs. I'm gonna do this just in case. Jazz dropping the sub. Yo, 15 months. Yo, appreciate it. Appreciate that, my friend. Hopefully you're having a good one. I think you need to give the snarl to make it so Water Pond just walls the rest of the game. We're doing our best here, but thank you so much. Thank you. Everyone's favorite sweeper. Huh. Hard to say, my favorite sweeper. I need to hit the snarl on this hat, by the way. Like, super muy importante. Ice Spinner comes in hot here. And it does get the Oko. I didn't know if that was a high roll, low roll, what it was before. But happy to get the Indy off the board. Happy to remove the terrain. Uh, get myself set up for like a Sucker Punch E-Speed play next turn. But I don't know my favorite sweeper. Gotta hit this. No. No! Oh my god, dude. Are you freaking real? God, dude. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Uh, that's really bad. <sighs> okay. Never lucky, bro. Never lucky. I wouldn't have had to do this. But it's fine. Let's see if they're gamers. E speed goes in. It's a lot of damage. Can Shen Pao clinch it? Let's go. Stellar! Oh, yes! That's what I'm talking about out here. Shempo kind of nice, dude. Shempo just kind of nice. You can Sacred Sword. You go, dude, you didn't even go after the Shempo, dude. Okay. Yeah, man. Go nuts. No Torkoal. Very surprising. All right. Boom. Nice. I could double protect. I don't think I need to. Do not think it's required. Hey, I'm still thinking my favorite sweeper. I'm a big fan of Landorus right now, actually. Landorus is pretty nice. Sweeper, sweeper's a hard word, right? I guess Urshifu water? It's like Scarf Ursh. I, I think like sweepers are all like booster mons or scarf mons, you know? Uh, I don't want to say I mopped the floor, but I definitely, I definitely did what I wanted, you know? Ooh, that's a lot of damage. You're gonna go after the ogre pond, but it won't, it won't, it won't KO me. Yeah, do ogre pond built kind of different out here. Water pond busted. That was the right play. And then you, you go into like sucker punch 50-50 mind games for the latter half, but like stellar terror shimpao ain't no joke, bro. It ain't no joke. We take those wins. We take those wins. Dang. These people are using my teams, man. Like. That's, that's like my tech. Smeagol Zork is my tech. Yeah, I just use a traditional copy pot, definitely. I have a Keurig, but I don't really use it. Wife uses it more often than me. Ah, uh, this is gonna be hard, but I do think in this situation, I could do Dragonite things. It's just that that Dango I'm more worried about than I probably need to be. I'm still gonna do it, dude. What are you gonna do if I weed like this? All right, these two are good. Um, Flutter doesn't have Shadow Ball, but like they don't know that I don't have Shadow Ball. I'm gonna bring Shimpao. I mean, honestly, the right answer is Entei, unless that's Urshi. It doesn't matter what Urshi that is. Um, I think this one might be better. It's way better in Urshi Water, but like, you know what I mean? Um, we'll see how this one works. Let's go. 
Let's see what we're doing here. Could have matched you this now. So yesterday, right? Yesterday we were getting back to Master Ball, right? Actually, over the past two days stream when we were getting back to Master Ball, I've played, I edited all the videos today. I played nine games in total, and six of them were against people that were in the chat. You guys think I don't look, but like whenever I get into a game, I go and I look at my chat over here, and I see like, hmm, is this person's name? Like, is this Azure person who's not in the chat? In the chat, and they're there. You say something, you know? Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, but uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not like people are in my chat trying to snipe me, more so it's like, people like, oh, that's plus one, that means he's probably streaming, I'm gonna go check out the stream, and that's kind of what happens. Alright, they led Smeargle and Ogre Pond. Huh. Is it bad if we try and find you water? I don't really like it, I don't enjoy it, but that's just me, you know? You know what else is just me? This. What do you do about it? Are you gonna do a ghost terror? Go for it! You go nuts, dude! I don't care! <laughs> wasted. Not wasted. It's not wasted. Um, you can totally terastalize your Smeargle, though. I was trying to stop Scarf Smeargle with this, by the way. And it looks like it's. Oh, Icy Wind over one. Policy, boys! <laughs> Let's go! I see one ogre pond, dude. Policy. <laughs> Let me. Let's do this, boys. Where, where are we dropping? Holy shit! Spore, in the right shoe. dude. This this dragonite's about to pop off. <laughs> Let's go. Something's gone. Oh, dude. I wish I took out the ogre pond, cause it's sash. Yeah, dude. Oh well. Yeah, dude. Uh, I see one's good though. Yeah. Alright, so we're stuck here. Um, we still have Terra up on a lot of things, though. I don't mind staying here for one turn. Yeah, nothing to really do. We have to be asleep this turn. So you can actually hit my Raichu. Spore the Dragonite. Hit the Dragonite with our Icy Wind. Don't, don't miss the Icy Wind. One turn sleep? This isn't even... I haven't even started to be asleep, so... You know. Damn, dude. What is Smiggle doing, though? Are you, uh... Instruct? Transform? Like, what's the what's the move that the Smiggle's gonna do here? Tailwind. Dude, it's fucking sick. Dude, we're, we just lost the game super hard there. No, we're not using Ice Shard. We're using um, Upper Hand. So Raichu had to be asleep that turn. Nah, I should've sent Shen Pao. I should've sent Shen Pao, used Protect, and then pivot in the Water Pond. It's my fault. It's okay. I'm not as afraid of this Smeargle as I probably should. Hi, it's still working. Yeah, it's been worked the whole time. Yeah. I forgot to say that, yeah. I just thought he was choice. You know what I mean? I thought he was not, you know what I mean? Yeah, throat spray. I thought he was choice this whole time. All right. Round two. Yeah, dude, Smeargle's pretty popping right now. Ooh, crit, ow. We take those. All right, let's think about what I want to do here. Hmm. Oh, definitely, they have to be. Like, that's my tech, you know. I have a team that has those exact, the exact sets that those guys are using. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think I win this one though. Too far behind. Like I could sucker punch the Zorark. That's our only out though. But then they know that, so maybe they might protect and spore. I don't see a problem with like this this turn. Yeah, they are protecting. Cool. They're protect sporing, I think. I have a one. I have one more cool tech for this. 
Jaden's on tail winner one. So we want to sucker punch there and just follow me away to spore. Nice. If they trick room me here, they're gods. <laughs> Yeah, nice. And now I outspeed again. Hmm. And Sin. Cut. Sin's a good mon here. I think you can just double protect. He's gonna tailwind though. Ah, he's gonna he's gonna tailwind. Who do I? I need to stop the Tailwind. If the Tailwind goes back up, it's GG's. So I need to double into that slot. Sucks I'm losing my Shrimp House Sash for this, but it's okay. Oh, did I Horn Leech? Why did I do that? I should have just Ivy Cudgeled. Like, it would get redirected in the Incin if they didn't click that move, but it's fine. Eh. Oh, well. Sloppy game. Okay. There's the Ogre Pond. That's why. That's the reason why I think I didn't want to do that. But there's a fake out. Hey, cool. That works for me. I get to keep all my stuff. All my bountiful harvest over here. Holy moly. Look at all this. Yeah, I mean. I'm good. Yeah, this is fine. Hit the incinerator for Smeargle, get a fake out pin, but like, that's also fine. Do you really fake out the Shempow? Cause like, I could go Ghost Terra too. I never did Terra, right? That's the thing, I never terra -ed. This should still KO. It's a double intimidate on Ogre Pond, but Ogre Pond plus Shimpao Shred should be able to KO a 1 HP Smeargle. Yeah, I, I like Stellar Terror on the Shimpao. You could totally fake out. It's no big thing. It's not It's not a big thing. I think Ogre Pond has the tools to break the Incin. We just got to get in the right spot to do it. Still good damage into Incent too. Stellar Terra boosted Ice Spinner, like it's good damage. Holy shit, that's a crit. <laughs> Talk about good damage out of here. That's some good damage out of here, last time I checked. Okay. Yeah, and I think the right play here is just, uh, hmm. I'm gonna double protect. Because I can't, totally can't, need to block the fake outs. Alright. And let's see, if we get the Ogre Pawn on a... Whatever that, uh, sorry, if we get the Ogre Pawn on its Spiky Shield, then we'll just double into it and win. And if they don't Spiky Shield this turn, which they shouldn't, they shouldn't be Spiky Shielding. Uh, I'm just doing this to avoid the fake out. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll have to think about what I want to do. Follow me. Cool. They're trying to go after my Ogre Pond here, I think. I would. Okay. Hey, that's probably not right. Because, like, you don't even ever... Like, I mean, you don't take Spiky Shield damage. But, all right, let's, let's realistically think about what I need to do here, then. I think the right play is Sacred Sword the Incin. And horn leech it, but like, uh, if you follow me and the sacred sword doesn't KO the ogre pawn, I lose. But like, this would double into your ogre pawn and get the KO. So like, 
This looks so freaking weird, but I think it's right. But I know the instance. No, that means that this, this is the right play then. It's just the right play. Yeah, I mean, it sucks that I'm attacking into this, but like, if, if I can't 1v1 your instant, I'll lose, so. Yeah. Damn, dude, that sucks. Right, who are they going into? Oh, never lucky. Don't burn me with a flare blitz. You can hit the Ogre Pond, which is the right play anyways, I would say. Oh, they're not Citrus. All right, if they burn here, they win. If they burn here, they win. One HP B. We should be able to get it. Um, don't think I need to follow me here, right? How fast is our Ogre Pond? Would it be better to follow me? No, this is fine. Are you going to double spiky shield? No. This is also why you want to click this button in case they did double spiky shield. It would have, like, missed, but also it just gets the KO. Whew. They hit us with every meme trick in the book, and I was like, nope. Nopers. Nope. Ocarino. Great Tusk is a more problematic Pokemon than you might think. Uh, I'm going to bring Shempel. And then, I'm really thinking what I want my last Mon to be. I think it's just Water Pond. Yeah, I don't like Dragonite Mirrors. Um, I'm not that... Not, not about that. Raichu cannot come to fight Great Tusk, guys. Like, come on. We can't just we can't just use Raichu versus the Great Tusk guy. The one guy in the world that's like Great Tusk Heatran. Like, that's not what Raichu's here for. Raichu's much better, I would say, into like Torn Urshi, Balance, you know, stuff like that. AV Tusk, it might be. Is that Scarfed? Huh. We have Icy Wind, right? Well, that KO. Do I need to Trastalize this Entei? I really don't want to. I'm not going it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. E-Speed? Yeah. They're trying to nuke the... Oh! That's banded. Okay. So as long as we don't lose Flutter, I think we're fine. I think this is a Scarf Tusk, and this is going to drop their speed down below our Entei. Hopefully. Right? And then we get that big damage. EQ, they're still faster, no way! So they were scarfed. Wait, I don't know this Entei spread. All right, so I didn't know the Entei spread. That's on me. 100% on me, I didn't know the Entei spread. It's okay. <sighs> what is, now we can go look at the Entei spread. <laughs> See, I assumed Entei would have a lot of speed. That's eh, not enough speed on an Entei in my opinion. Uh, I mean, it makes sense for how they want to play, but I just assumed it was faster. Um, my fault. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't even clock, locked in that play. Like, I, I see when assuming it was Scarf. All right, so let's actually think about what we want to do, because then Water Pond. Let's look at the Water Pond spread now, because now I don't trust any of these. Um, how fast are we? All right, Water Pond is fast enough. I can eat. They're going to probably pivot, right? So actually, I'm just going to Ivy Cudgel here. And then, like, what do you have to pivot? Heatran, maybe? I'm okay with this. You can you can totally e speed. Oh my god, they actually did. That's fucking nuts, dude. What if I just clicked spiky shield? You just, the game's just over. I guess the game would have just been over, bro. Holy moly, no way. All right. All right, so this guy's going down. Click button. I freaking guess, dude. All right, so we have a sash shampoo in the back. We have redirection. We have spiky shield. We are within range of sucker punch did you flutter too all right there's their flutter and shem pow we see booster no okay so it's probably specs which means i am faster on flutter and our terra is fairy okay i can icy win that and spiky shield and i, I like that play but I have to Terra. Oof.
No, if that's the no, that's that's not right. You got no one to hold him. No one to fold him. If you don't KO me with Sucker Punch, I win. KO my Flutter or my Ogre Pond. But I think your Shimpal is protecting, and I'm gonna tap your Flutter here. And if your Shimpal is attacking and it doesn't get the KO, at least I still might break Sash. You know what I mean? Like, whoa, it's not Specs though. What? Dude, no way. Dude, that's fine though. Like, hey, I, good, more power to you. What item is on that Flutter? It's, it's not Sash. It's not Orb. It's not Booster. I mean, it could be Orb, but it's not. What is the item on that Flutter, dude? I woke up and chose violence. Did you see that turn? Holy moly. I showed my full hand. I bet you Sucker Punch KOs. He might be Orb. Really though? Is that a thing? Do people do that? All right, so they're gonna D-Gleam. Fairy Feather, really though? You're probably right, but like, eh, it's still not good. All right, let's think. They know what I want. Do we just give it to him? Pixie Plate? You're not the only one that can do that. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. I'm gonna do that too. Yeah, what are you, what's your plan now? What are you gonna do about it? If I could break the Shemp out with like a spiky shield, you know how sick that would be? That'd be so nice. Sucker Punch, okay. Sucker Punch into, it doesn't say because that sucks. And Shadow Ball. Okay. They don't have Dazzle then. I just wonder if Sucker Punch actually KOs this Ogre Pond. I'm down with this play, dude. This is a good play for me. It's a good play. You don't have, you don't have you don't got dazzling unless you've been using it, right? You can totally kill this water pond. Water pond ain't doing anything else. They show me sucker punch though. Yo! Oh, dude, you ever seen anyone as good as me at this game? Holy moly! You just gotta hit the shimpa. Let me hit this. Yeah, buddy. Sash broke slow, so all I gotta do is remove flutter from the equation, and its protectors on cooldown, and I win the game. I just don't know if my Flutter going into that slot with both these mons gets it. You know what I mean? I do not know. I'm clicking that button. And I'm clicking this button. I want their Flutter gone. Their Shimpao's protecting. Shimpao's protecting. Its sash is broke. You think I care if your Shimpao does literally anything, bro? I do care, but I don't care at the same time. Let's get this thing off the board to the best of my abilities. Almost the best of my abilities. Dazzling. Dude, you had Dazzling the whole time, dude? You had it the whole time, and it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. We're just that good. We're just that good. Let's go. Oh, it was Orb! What? Okay, yeah, go nuts, buddy. Hey, dude. Or, or more like suck, you know. All right, and then we win. Wait, they didn't tear yet, huh? And we could still lose. Hold on. Let's see. They get, we can still they didn't tear, right? I'm gonna double spike. I'm gonna double protect. Show me Terra. Imagine if, like, I go for a Sacred Sword and they Ghost Hera me, right? I will lose. Um, that was canceled. That works for me. We take those wins all the way to the bank. This is a team made by Sableye VGC, another high-level regional competitor, and I really liked it. I think the only thing I would change is I would like uh, the Dragonite to have Earthquake or, like, Rockside or some other option for, like, a little bit of AoE damage in the late game. That's just my opinion. I know that like you don't want to earthquake your own mons, but there's a lot of protects on the team. And sometimes like, I think we had a game where they had like uh, iron hands and a flutter. And if I had, if I just would have went like helping hand EQ and got that double KO, I would have won. So 
yeah, I think I would like Earthquake or some little extra damage there, but I like this team. It's very, very good. Try it out in your own games. It's a cool team.